Hello, my loves. Welcome. I am Rena Wells, and I'm here to do your weekly reading for soul connections and separation, twin flames, soulmates, however you want to uh, categorize that. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. There's lots of different teachings on here. I am a medicine woman. I work predominantly with psychedelics, so I'm a shaman. And so I have a very clear channel and I work with alchemy, manifestation, all kinds of different things. So if you want to know more about me, all that's down below. Let's get started. All right, guys. Uh, I know I haven't been here, been super busy with my own growth and stuff like that, but I am back. We're going to take a look at the portal energies that are opening up right now. So let's see what's going on this week. Spirit wants me to, uh, is guiding me to see where these energies are currently opening up right now between you and your person, okay? So we're going to be doing that. Let's take a look and see exactly where these energies are playing out right now. Oh, I just fixed my cloth and now it's like bunching up on me, which I'm not liking. I'm not liking that. <laughs> Let's take a look. What portals are opening up here, Spirit, for soul connections? What are the overall energy? Let's take a look at the overall energy. Bottom of the deck right now is receiving from the angels, okay? So hearing messages from Spirit, yeah. This is about uh, new energies that are coming forth, listening to the messages that are coming forth to embark on a new adventure and to heal the past. So if you've been feeling... A lot of messages coming through being guided differently on your path so I'm just making sure that these are situated okay yeah and if you're really feeling guided that there are situations um, on your in your past that you need to heal uh, spirit is saying yeah there's about taking action however you need to be moving in your path both parties are being directed on clearing things out that's what I'm getting a lot of things are clearing out this is about manifesting your dreams Wow, look at this. this is really beautiful. Giving birth. Okay, so this is really what I'm getting here. Spirit is really bringing through that whatever action you're getting from your angels, your intuition, Spirit is saying that is definitely a yes that's coming through right now, that you are to be taking action, okay? The message that you are getting is to manifest these dreams. Look at this, okay? So this is really about manifesting and harvesting. This is a time for harvest. My dreams are coming true. Spirit's going to guide you here, is what I'm seeing. This is the portal of the heart that's opening up, okay? Spirit's sending you messages and guidance and how to manifest this, okay? Um, I, this is very true. This has been happening to me of getting more serious about my mystery school, my membership, um, more than even doing readings, because I don't do readings anymore. Um, I do coaching. So this is, uh, however you are being led, if that's, you know, um, towards your person or towards a new path, or to a different person or to however this is you're getting messages spirit is really guiding you because this is like a doorway that's opening up it's almost like this um her face was looking like a door to me but it's like almost like a portal that she's pulling you into this beautiful angel of love to jump over any hurdles look at this river jump over the hurdles here and where you're being guided this is really beautiful because the action is embarking on an adventure and launching a journey some of you may have to pack bags okay and to leave certain situations some of you may be having to end relationships okay some of you may be having to pull away from things that are siphoning your energy that are lowering your vibration taking you off your path okay if you know your path is something and and somebody is not matching that or friends or in or whatever the situation may be it's taking you away from things this is to get you very serious to refocus you on this and spirit is saying whenever you're healing the past you're giving birth to something brand new okay this is um moving into uh true healing uh forgiveness of the past okay so both you and your person are going through this currently right now okay so let's take a look and see what else is coming up receiving messages from the angel spirit Let's get one for that, please. One for each pile. Thank you. This is vibration. Look at this. Yeah. I'm really getting here. Okay, guys. Yeah, your vision. Your vision. Yeah. What you got to be still enough to hear these messages. So, Spirit is really bringing you in direction. You got to be very still. 
you've got to allow the energy to come in okay if you're not hearing things we can't be focused if you're getting focused away from bringing peace into your life if you're if drama's happening around in your life right now spirit's really bringing this message of being still okay reflect on this moment with love and kindness and compassion to take the proper actions in your life spirit doesn't want you to um act out of haste okay they want you to be still to listen to your deep inner truth okay to know that your visions are true whatever visions you've been getting from spirit of what your path is spirit wants you to hear that it, it's time to manifest these visions okay the time is coming close you got to stay keep your vision very strong in your heart you can't let things take you off this path right now spirit is saying this is a very precipice time and i know like coming into the summer things are going to be healing very deeply with this age of aquarius we're just at the beginning and spirit is really bringing through because we're at the beginning the true healers of this earth are now getting the visions and the the ability to vibrate uh in in alignment with your journey okay launching your journey embarking on an adventure being in that vibration raising to higher levels of your consciousness whatever is focusing you to be still in this is to get you into that vibration and this is beautiful because you've got to meditate here on the past the forgiveness and so both parties are are feeling this right now um these are the overall messages let's take a look and see what is going on with your person in regards to these energies so i'm going to just keep the portals here like this to kind of keep them in or maybe i don't know you know what maybe they're not gonna fit on the screen oh they are gonna fit on the screen so let's let's do this okay so you guys can kind of keep those energies here right now okay all right Perfect. So let's see what's going on with your person that you're thinking of. I'm just getting a tarot deck here that I want to use, which I thought, yeah, this is my deck that we're going to use. <coughs> let's see what's going on with your person in regards to these messages of where the connection is right now. Both of you are getting really, really focused. Um, on the path okay spirit's giving you messages so even if it feels like nothing is happening in the 3d world spirit really wants you to know there's a lot of activity in the energies okay and so this is what's going on with your person thank you spirit this is for the masculine energy or the feminine but predominantly the masculine so yeah let's do masculine then feminine thank you let's see what's going on with the masculine energy right now what's going on with the masculine Getting over fears is the first one that's come out, okay? I wasn't ready for this. So I'm going to put it back. Okay, let's cut. I want to pick up on the bottom here. Yeah, there's a movement forward that's happening where things haven't healed yet. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So what's going on with your person right now? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All right. What is going on with your person right now? We have the Eight of Wands. This is my deck that I've created. They're not for sale yet, but they will be hopefully soon. Um, this is uh, your person wants to move forward. So this your person is getting the messages ready to take action on a brand new beginning. So whatever it is to move towards um, their path, their alignment, their vision, their dreams, where they want to vibrate, where they're vibrating right now is new love. Okay, and curiosity into this new path of love. Okay, so divine masculines are moving in here towards that. Now, the vision that they have to hold in regards to manifesting yeah, these dreams, harvesting the vision, and holding that and he following spirit in the heart, right, is where things haven't been healed, have been very dramatic. This is becoming the contrast for your person. So they're knowing in their heart, okay, in their heart space, they're holding this vision of spirit of their dreams of what they want and if it doesn't match they're seeing where the drama is where the wishes aren't being fulfilled they're getting the ability to notice the darkness and the contrast that's not allowing them to be in this space okay your person here is wanting to 
vibrate in this new path of love. We have the Ace of Cups with the Page of Swords. So wanting to communicate, wanting to move forward into something new. <sighs> and the Four of Pentacles is also not just about being closed off. A lot of tarot readers read it that way, but it's also when the heart and the mind are aligned so that you can manifest. And this is where what's happening with meditation with your person is trying to heal the past right now, being um, um, holding their heart very sacred and knowing their heart and head alignment where they're having massive abandonment issues, where they may have abandoned things in the past. This is why they have to heal the past. They don't want to just abandon and close off as well, okay? Let's clarify a little bit more. Let's take a look at this new beginning. Divine Masculine here with a new beginning and moving forward. Yeah, separation. Four of Swords with the Knight of Wands, okay? So this person, uh, your person is... <clears throat> really looking at how can I move forward they're being still this is an action very passionate action here wanting to take action but also resting so there's some contradiction er energies here but it's like I'm in separation I want to action this I want to take action I'm receiving messages but I'm being still about this right now they're being still because they're still looking at how to action this energy okay let's clarify that a little further let's take a look at why that's taking some time okay because they want to their mind is wanting to move forward they're they're in this place of taking really passionate action coming in um, but they're holding this back with the four swords they're healing and they're they're surrendering to to spirit for the go-ahead is what I'm getting it's like they're laying here receiving these messages from spirit of when to take action for this new beginning. So let's take a look. This is Divine Masculine here. Divine Masculine. Thank you, Spirit. What is this? Uh, still in separation. Still holding back. Getting direction from Spirit. About this new beginning towards feminine. What is going on here? Okay. See, they're, they're putting an end. They're taking action and ending cycles, endings and new beginnings. So they're they're taking their time here before they can. That's why there's still a separation. There's massive endings that are happening here in their heart space. So that that's why. OK, so things cycles are cycling out right now. They're being still in it. They're getting the messages from spirit. They're taking action. OK, in their life for this new beginning so that they can move passionately towards this new beginning. OK, we also have here the vision here but they're they're not fulfilled where they're at in their heart space they're it's very dramatic it's very difficult what's going to my masculine here in the heart space very emotionally unstable okay oh <sighs> very emotionally stable about not being able to walk away it's creating a lot of instability wherever there are in their heart space they haven't been able to walk away and create uh, stability for themselves and the more this contrast that's happening in the heart space eight of cups in reverse page of cups in reverse and the king of pentacles the reason they're unable to walk away right is be partly because of their vision the drama is acting as a complete contrast of what their real path is unfolding for your person okay so their inability to walk away right now is creating a lot of instability and the more that they don't walk away the more drama is going to happen. And look at the card that came out. Awakening. See, it's creating an awakening. This contrasts in their heart, the instability, the financial instability, the keep walking back to the same heart pattern, the same issues. They're hearing spirit saying, if you want to manifest your dreams, you have to envision this. And they're having a massive awakening right now in the heart space, okay? Yeah, they know that they have to launch this journey and to seek something more. Let's take a look at what's going on with masculine with this. They know that they have to embark on a new event. They're being called. That's the action piece. Look at that. The sword of truth. New beginnings, a truthful beginning. Cutting the lies with that sword of truth. Wow, for a love partnership. This is beautiful. This, this masculine knows that they have to launch this journey here and to come out of heartbreak. Three of swords in reverse. Come out of heartbreak. One more spirit saying come out of heartbreak about this two of cups and the lovers okay this is sacred union this is friendship this is partnership this is a new truthful beginning they're ending their heartbreak over what's happened with divine feminine wow guys 
Masculines are looking at this. Let's clarify, Spirit. Can we have another card? Whoa. Things were mirrored to them. Look at this. They want to date. <laughs> Twin flame. Can't make this up, guys. Look at this, rising, rising. We got the Phoenix wanting to date with the Twin Flame card, okay? If that resonates with you as a twin or a divine soul counterpart, wanting to date, marrying each other, knowing their wounds, knowing that they have to bring balance. So this is the action that the masculine is doing. They can't right now, they're still finishing up stuff. There's a lot of awakening that's happening. Wow, so let's take a look here. They're meditating, they're becoming aligned. Let's see what this abandonment is, their abandonment. What is that abandonment? Financial situation, five of pentacles, please, spirit. Yeah, that's what the karmic energy, all right? So they've had some financial loss. They have to abandon karmic energies. They have to, they're coming into alignment, head and heart. They are also closed off to anything with the karmic. They're meditation, meditating, okay? They're giving birth into the new because they're healing the past with the karmic energies. Look at this, renewal, judgment, Wow. Judgment decisions that are going to bring a renewal to both parties. Look at this. Not offering anything right now because this masculine is meditating and healing the past with this abandonment of the karmic energies. It has become illuminated with the sun. Okay. Leaving the darkness. When I created this card, <coughs> the sun is also about joy and happiness. But how I see the sun is a great illumination, okay? It's moving out of the shadows into this doorway that the door finally opens and it's completely beautiful and um, illuminated for you. That's what's happening this masculine. One more on the sun. Clarify the sun here. Yeah. Coming out of hermit mode. Look at that. Coming out of the darkness as I was saying that, okay? So, yeah, beautiful. What is going with masculine energy right now in regards to giving birth? Wow, towards feminine, unconditional love, and I like you. Romance is blooming. So this is really beautiful. This is where masculine is sitting right now in the overall energies. Let's take a look at divine feminine. Beautiful. And then we're going to take a look at karmic. So these are just the overall energies for the two. Let's see what's going on with divine feminine. We're going to use the same deck. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on with Divine Feminine. I'm just making sure that is still going. Yes. <laughs> How beautiful. So Masculine's just cleaning up the rest on his plate. Let's see. What is going on with Divine Feminine energy, please, Spirit, in regards to these portals that are opening up this week? So Spirit is saying, Divine Feminine, stay really on course. Don't let anything take you off track. Okay, if you feel like you're getting pulled away from your routines, from your life, from, you know, um, if there's anything that doesn't feel right in your life, just, you've got to be very discerning with those energies. Spirit really wants you to stay on track and hearing the messages and embarking on this new journey here, okay? Healing the past, forgiving. What's going on with Divine Feminine Energy Spirit? Thank you. Let's take a look here. <clears throat> what's going on divine feminine wow look at this coming out of separation coming out of the healing space okay we have page of wands the vision of the spiritual path forward with fire and and knowing this is what you want to move towards look at this temperance wow beautiful divine feminine patience harmony balance strength taming that ego healing the past really beautiful Look at this, it's slowly moving towards taking action on your path, being still, move, realizing that it is <clears throat> going to be a, a snail's pace, right? These divine connections take time, take growth. It's like healing does not happen overnight, okay? So this is really but a slow movement onto the path, okay? We have four of wands in reverse. So certain foundations are breaking down and you may notice that divine feminine's in your heart, the walls, what I'm seeing with this is not just union, it's the walls that you've built up in your heart. There's a, <clears throat> a purging. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, my throat all of a sudden. As I'm saying that, it's like you want these dreams, you want to manifest, you have a vision. Spirit has given you direction here. And Spirit is saying, 
these walls in your heart for this new passion, for this new path, something has ignited again in the heart space, in your action. Look at this. Awakening with the temperance. Wow. Wow. Excuse me. As I'm saying, oh, guys, I'm getting heartburn now. Seriously. <clears throat> Divine feminines, you have gone through a massive transformation. I'm just saying. As I'm saying, the foundations in your heart are coming down. It's actually happening in your physical world as well. This is the 3D manifestation, the action that you are taking. And you're holding a very <clears throat> peaceful place here. You're holding patience as this tower comes down, as things are burning to the ground. You know that you have to come into this vibration of peace. And so you're holding this really strongly. This strength that you're having, look at this, your pre-empress mode, empress in reverse, really beautiful energy, divine feminines. You are taming the ego, you are focused, you are at peace, you have for you are forgiving, <clears throat> you are birthing something new, you're ready to come out of this cocoon. You're really slowly moving onto this path and where spirit is directing you. So let's take a look. You're slowly moving out of separation. Okay, we have the star in reverse where things weren't healing in your life. Um, you're done healing that aspect of uh, wishes fulfillment. You're moving towards the destiny. It's just it's just there. Clarify the star in reverse where things may not have gone your way. You're taking action. Yeah, where you haven't been able to heal in love. Look at this. You've got the same cards as divine masculine, but in the headspace. This is in the outcome. So do you see at the end of the masculine's journey at the outcome part? <clears throat> of what they're working on this week you are starting off with this but you're opening up okay um to love you're letting go of these barriers where things haven't healed before in the past in love you're coming out of the separation and moving towards what hasn't healed for you in love you're opening up to a new way of being by receiving messages from your angels clarify the star in reverse again please Look at this for a 10 of pentacles for your abundance, for your family. You're putting family first. If you have children, okay, uh, your home life first, creating a nice peaceful environment for yourself. Really beautiful. Divine feminine, okay. You're really listening to what spirit is saying to you. You're taking those actions. You're jumping over barriers. You're being still in your life. And you are allowing these things uh, to break down, the mind patterns to break down, where you haven't been fulfilled. You're moving towards a destiny, even if it's not fully clear, and really building that foundation right now. What is going on with Divine Feminine here? In the mind, please, Spirit. <clears throat> Divine Feminine, please. Wow, you're passionate about this. This is beautiful. Feeling a lot of passionate passion, chemistry, moving. That's divine masculine energy, moving in your life, but being still and balanced. You're becoming into a very balanced divine feminine. This is that pre-empress mode here, right? This is like, yes, I'm, I'm allowing myself to be so peaceful in the eye of the hurricane, in the storm and holding passion and holding love and building my foundation and my family and my life where things haven't healed and starting on this new ace of cups really beautiful breaking down the walls in your heart <clears throat> starting on a spiritual path picking up maybe where you left off or like even like looking at the passion in your life and and really um bringing spirit into this into your heart okay manifesting out of what you've wanted in the past as well and where you may have also been rejected, okay? You may be rejecting things that didn't manifest in the past, okay? You may be like, you know what? That didn't work out for me. That's past patterns. That's a past thing. I'm going to manifest beyond that. Whatever has happened has broken down some certain walls in your heart space to create a deeper vision, to solidify even the vision that you've had for your life. You may have gotten a deeper confirmation or you will this week in where you may have been rejecting yourself based on past patterns and where you need to rise up to co-create, to manifest. We have the magician here, Divine Feminine, with manifesting your dreams, right? So this is really about, you know, where in the past was I rejecting myself? I need to take those walls down to honor the, my past, okay, to honor where I'm coming from and how to leverage myself out of that and manifest and co-create. Yeah, you may have thought that you've missed opportunities 
but spirit is saying you're not fighting the enlightenment that you've gained already you may have been um fighting you know you wanted something or you wanted to uh, uh be uh, in a certain place in life or you wanted to be somewhere on your past first like you're letting that battle go and you're looking at maybe where you may have missed your own opportunities because you have been rejecting yourself based on past patterns in your heart that has inhibited you from creating your dreams so that's really important here divine feminine because masculines are starting to hear this in the heart space right they they haven't they have the star in reverse in the heart space where things haven't been able to heal and it's creating the same contrast. Do you see how you're marrying Divine Feminine? The same contrast here of maybe where you've missed things because of the past pattern. So there's massive heart healing that's happening here with the feminine and the masculine. We're gonna see how you guys are relating with each other as well. Look at this, outdated thinking. Exactly. You're looking at that. You're like, no, that's that's that was the old me. I have to let that go now and move into really more of my vision here. We have your launching your journey. So foundations are currently coming down right now, Divine Femme. That's okay. You're holding a very strong stance of being patient. Nine of Wands, you're persevering. Now, when I created this Nine of Wands, it's like she's got a hawk here. She's got a guard up on her hand. She's like, I'm guarded, but you know, I'm persevering because I'm following my intuition. I'm a wounded warrior. I am, I am, you know, all seeing and all knowing, and I'm still gonna move through any walls here that, you know, I have to keep my heart protected here, but I'm still following my intuition. I'm not fully, you know, guarded. I'm wounded, but I'm still persevering. And so this is where you're at and you're moving and allowing anything to fall that needs to fall. Beautiful divine feminine. You're just trusting this is a deeper faith and spirit. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> it's where you haven't been able to walk away from divine masculine. Uh, you've realized I've not been able to walk away from this, but I'm allowing it anything. You've had an awakening. Remember masculine had an awakening in the heart chakra. Okay, because divine feminine is doing that work. Do you see the mirroring? Because Divine Feminine is doing that outdated thinking and rejecting what's happened in the past, this awakening is happening in the action piece for Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is like, I need to move, <laughs> move into a new, into my vibration, into my true calling, where I haven't been able to, you know, move away from him. And it may be also feeling that the masculine is returning for some of you to the past, right? Divine Masculine got that as well, the Eight of Cups in reverse, right? So not being able to walk away from the past returning to the past but that's also coming down we're going to get another clarifier on not being able to walk away yeah created delays in your life so you're persevering through this divine feminine you're not waiting for anybody right which is how it should be mm -hmm. you're committing to self you're learning your lessons here you're committing to self in the path you're committing to your vibration, okay? Yeah. You've learned your lessons that uh, I need to persevere through this and allow things to fall and awaken as they need to awaken. Yeah, because abundance, look at this, rising. Maximum got the same thing. See, both of you are rising into this abundance. There's going to be a meeting, an emergence that's coming on both paths, okay? This is up to spirit, but this is definitely a rising into a new phase and a new abundance that's coming. And we have here like holding strength. Divine Feminine is pre-Empress mode, okay? Holding strength. Look at this. Using her high priestess energy, okay? Intuition. Knowing that things are being hidden. This Divine Feminine is being hidden also from the world. Remember, spirit won't allow you to be seen fully until they are ready for you. Right. Because remember, this is a collective thing. This is community. This is not about just you. You are an integral part into a greater, a greater community of the collective. So you may not be ready and you're still healing. That's OK. That's so that you can rise. Certain things have been hidden from divine feminine before the ready spirit is saying that you need to be hidden for this for right now because the rest of the tribe isn't ready. Right. This isn't a power thing. This isn't about I'm delegating. This is me. This is about how am I helping community? Yeah, codependency, attachment, but it's also being attached. 
divine feminine what are you attached to okay so you're meditating where things haven't worked out for you divine feminine where things have failed having this attachment where things are hidden from you spirit is saying this is to, in order you're holding a lot of strength here but spirit wants you to know there are things that have been hidden from you for a reason okay you can't know it all right now because it it's not helping you in in your uh healing of the past so where things have failed spirit really wants you to focus on where the pain has failed uh, hurt you where the wheel hasn't turned for you where you're still attached to that and to change that focus that's part of the healing path right now to meditate and give birth to yourself where you are attached okay this is the rising both both masculine and feminine are rising very strongly right now so where things are attached yeah is ending toxicity so divine feminine you're in a place of ending toxicity as well so spirit wants you to realize to go yeah you may have been stabbed in the back you're healing that about union you may have felt that this union was taken from you but spirit wants you to let go of these things from the past that nothing can really be taken from you that's really meant for you and to start really focusing and healing on that all right let's take a look and see what's actually happening between masculine and feminine energies together okay how are they interacting with each other then we're going to take a look at masculine towards karmic energies okay so that was the overall Let's take a look. <clears throat> Let's take a look at how energies are interacting between masculine and feminine, okay? Okay, sorry guys, just moving these cards away. <laughs> We're going to use those to clarify. I'm going to use my deck again. <coughs> Let's see. What is going on between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energies, please? What's going on with Masculine towards Feminine and Feminine towards Masculine? Thank you, Spirit. What's going on this week for Masculine and Feminine energies? Thank you. What's going on between Masculine and Feminine energies? What's going on with masculine and feminine energies? Okay. The higher energies that are coming down is no longer waiting anymore for each other. Okay. So no more waiting, procrastinating, just waiting for the ships to come in. Okay. Both in the connection. So this is the higher self that's pulling the energy down. Three of wands in reverse. Okay. No longer waiting. Both wanting victory and success out of this. Both are single right now. Look at this. The masculine is definitely single. No longer investing in things that are of imbalance or injustice. Cleaning up betrayal. Not offering love right now. Be waiting for a reunion. So let's take a look. Masculine towards the feminine in the headspace. Seven of cups. Feminine towards masculine in the headspace. Queen of cups. Wow masculine in the heart space we have 10 of wands feminine heart space ace of tr swords the truth ace of truth <laughs> like the ace of truth actions not actioning king of wands in reverse action coming out of hermit mode we saw that waking up okay outcome walking away walking into the unknown divine feminine still dealing with that toxicity piece so we are definitely seeing here okay masculine and feminine what is going on they're not waiting anymore masculine is dreaming and fantasizing feminine is really sitting here with this queen of cups with the egg could be symbolizing springtime and really saying look i'm sitting here on my throne i'm revealing a little bit of myself to you i'm cup of blue with water red is also a sacred feminine energies i'm holding this egg it hasn't cracked open yet but i'm sitting here in my feelings do i share this abundance with you or not matt we're going to clarify masculine is dreaming about divine feminine heart space masculine is at uh ten of wands okay burdens responsibilities because knowing that they have to share this truth divine feminine wants the truth wants the masculine to come and take the sword out of the rock and to leverage and cut things out she won't take anything 
She's, she's lowered her guard, but she still wants the truth, okay? Masculine is not actioning anything. He's in the King of Wands, which can be a little bit playboy, but I don't feel that's what he's doing. I feel it's just not ready to come with a full passion yet. And feminine is coming out of a healing place, okay? Out of the cave, out of the hermit mode. Masculine's walking away from things. And this is like the Eight of Cups is moving towards the Nine of Cups, Wishes, and the Ten of Cups. Knowing that they've gotten their fill out of those Eight Cups, but also knowing that where they're walking to is completely unknown. See how it's completely foggy? She doesn't know what's in that fog, but she's willing to go into it because the, the aid of the, where she's come from is no longer serving her. So masculine's really done. Both of them want to win at this. Okay. When I created this card, it was like, he's come home after battle. And she's like, let me help you heal. Right. Feminine is still dealing with some of this toxicity. All right. Still dealing with um, remember, Divine Feminine, the more sensitive you get Divine Feminine, the less toxic people can you have in your life. You have to keep your vibration very, very pure. And it can be very easy to give, right? And Spirit is saying, you've got to keep your vibration very pure or you can get attached to toxicity in a very, um, oh, in a very uh, strong way, Okay. So this is about knowing what's toxic in your life and what's not, okay? <clears throat> Let's take a look here. What is going on with, woo, that's interesting. The Queen of Wands came flying out. I think that there's something with karmic energies that are happening here. So let's take a look. Not that the Queen of Wands, I'm a Queen of Wands, but I, I, well, the way I read when Spirit reads for me, I've identified certain cards for myself. What's going on here, Spirit? I'm like getting massive heart. I don't get heartburn. So my heart is burning, guys. There's something going on. Let's take a look. What is going on with this Seven of Cups? Let's move these down a bit. Seven of Cups, the masculine. Okay, yeah. First Spirit says we're going to take the Three of Wands and the Six of Wands. Okay, thank you. We're going to cut. I'm going to use, I'm using this little miniature deck if it will cooperate with me. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, that's opening up and not waiting anymore. And this is King of Wands. Look at this. He's not actioning this victory and success yet, okay? Not yet, okay? So let's take a look at Seven of Cups, masculine, in the headspace towards feminine. Look, dreaming has ended some type, has made a decision about a love. What is this decision about the lovers? Of Yeah, ending a commitment. This person has ended a commitment, Nine of Wands in reverse, letting their guard down. Masculine's let their guard down, has ended a marriage or a commitment, and has made a decision about a relationship. The lovers in reverse, okay? And dreaming. What are they dreaming about? They're hung. So they could be fantasizing about this, <laughs> that they want to end. Yeah, they're very unstable. So they're gaining a lot. We have the hangman. They're very um, unstable right now. They're looking at, they're fantasizing about ending something and making the decision to move towards divine feminine because their life is very unstable right now. Super unstable. Okay. Financially unstable. Things aren't grounding. It's a little bit dramatic. We're going to dig deeper with the karmic energies in a bit, but there's definitely like a, a commitment or something, maybe not even learning their lessons. Clarify the hierophant. Like I feel that's more of a marriage or something that's coming to an end. Page of pentacles. Yeah. Rejecting this, this commitment. <clears throat> so, they're hung about things. How, why are they hung towards Divine Feminine? The Knight of Wands. See, they're not actioning anything yet because they're doing something else in their life that they're finishing up. What about Divine Feminine towards the Masculine here with this Queen of Cups? She's not sure if she's going to give him this offering here, right? She's, I mean, she, <laughs> oh, I love her. Look at her face. She's like, are you coming near me? Like, what? What? Sh tell me. Show me. Show me the truth. Show me the truth. This is Divine Feminine, Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups, Divine Feminine. We have eight of one. See, she ain't moving either. So neither one are moving towards each other. She's on her throne. She's sitting there. Yeah, look at Knight of Cups. I ain't giving you that. I ain't giving you that. I want the damn truth. We have five of wands. There could be still some battling with her own um, 
heart space, right? Because the Divine Feminine is healing her heart space. We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Swords. She won't work on this if the truth is suppressed, okay? She's guarding the truth. She knows the truth and she's not taking it. So Divine Masculine here knows that this is a big burden in his heart. He knows that this is a huge conflict in his heart, okay? He's waking up to this massive conflict. So Masculine's had an awakening in the heart space, definitely. Ace of Wands, he's procrastinating. Why is he procrastinating in the heart space, Spirit? Yeah, Ten of Swords in reverse, knowing that they have to clean up. Huh. Debating how to clean up this betrayal in the heart with Divine Feminine because they know Divine Feminine wants this truth. Divine Feminine won't take anything. Made her decision, Two of Wands in reverse, Six of Wands in reverse, knowing things have failed because the truth was suppressed, right? The truth will always set you free, knowing that certain things weren't communicated, that the Divine Feminine knows that there were things that were being dishonest, that this masculine may not have ever said how he felt because he was too scared. He's This masculine is procrastinating and debating and juggling about what? <laughs> the Six of Cups, where things have failed, right? knows that he he feels like a failure so he's trying to work that out you know but that's also ego stuff you know <laughs> if these masculines just realize how abundant and beautiful these feminines can hold that space but again masculines have to come to that place to be able to receive that that's the feminine energy in masculines and masculines when they're unable to receive such divine love they will reject it and say that they don't feel they don't feel <laughs> anything well of course they don't feel anything because you're not connected to the feminine within you obviously that's why they feel like they failed here divine feminine knows that um oh this is six of cups closing off the past sorry i thought this was six of wands this is six of wands sorry guys closing off the past here right um and and juggling how to do that where feminines know that this has failed because you know the decision was made not to reveal the truth here yeah with the with the karmic partner knowing that uh and knowing that things may have also failed with the karmic partner yeah and being stuck in this situation so there's a lot of energies that are playing out where masculine may also be closing off the past but knowing that he also does feel like a failure here okay he's juggling how to move forward let's see this king of wands he's not actioning anything why is masculine not actioning anything He's getting honest with himself. Seven of Swords in reversed. What is he getting honest about, Spirit? Seven of Wands, how to build. What he's defending, what he's standing up for. He's not focusing and working on Nine of Cups energy in reverse anymore. This masculine wants the Ten of Cups, okay? So he's cleaning up space and closing off the past. Look, fate has come in and, and the wheel is turning on the masculine side. Feminine is waking up out of this energy. She's holding, again, see this feminine is very strong, holding a lot of strength here. A lot of strength, a lot of strength. We have seven of pentacles in reverse. No longer waiting though and not investing. This feminine won't invest what's not in her highest good. Nine of pentacles, she's attached. She's so I think that attachment of not being able to walk away, yeah, is creating an imbalance. So divine feminine, I will tell you, you have to let go of your twin. Okay, I don't care what teachers out there, you have to surrender everything to God. <laughs> That's just how manifestation works. You have to give up everything that you desire to God. That's just how it works. I hate to break it to people out there like, no, but I'm never letting him go. Sorry, you have to move and let go and allow spirit in. You have to make room. That's the law of vacuum. You have to be able to clear out to allow true abundance in. There's some feminines that you're holding on to this. And we've been seeing that trying to come back You and you're holding strong. Spirit says that's going to have to break. Is creating a massive imbalance here. Okay. Yeah. The world. We have to insert certain cycles. Okay. Divine feminine. All right, this masculine is walking away from things. Let's see. Ten of Cups. Walking towards the Ten of Cups with the four. Wow, Union. This masculine is walking towards Union. Feminine. We got clean up our shit. Okay, Feminine. What is, what is this toxicity here? Keep your vibration pure, my loves. Do not judgment. Have a renewal of self out of the dark. Let go. Purge. Heal. Let your masculines go. 
Okay, let them go. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this. The judgment with the star and the ten of wands, okay? You are going to have a renewal and a decision. Once you let go and surrender and allow God in, you are letting go of the burdens of this devil, okay? Devil and, and dark energies completely um, mask themselves of light. If you want to know if you're being siphoned or you're, you know, hit me up, do a coaching session with me. I've walked through all darkness, okay? <laughs> Belize above I've worked with, okay? Like seriously, dark entity shit, people, you want to know? I've seen demons leave people during ayahuasca ceremonies. I know the dark like nobody else knows the dark, <laughs> being honest. Um, and I can claim that. I claim that because I know of what I've walked through. Spirit is saying this is an illumination that's coming. You have to hold this light of Christ. Christ is the only one that can cast out demons, okay? You have to work with Christ's energy to be able to work with dark. So this judgment, this renewal, this coming into this place of destiny and, and awareness, it is hard. It is frustrating, but we, Divine Feminine, you got to let that go. If you need to learn how to, because Divine Feminines hold the pool of love, you know? It has to be clean water. You can't give tainted water from your well to drink okay and when you yeah look at this self-love page of cups and and it, there's a lot of self-love that has to happen you have to like know where the energy sit and if somebody is not able to reciprocate or they're it's a very uneven energy you need to cut it out right away the tower here okay heart awakenings here all right this is the energy between divine masculine and divine feminine let's get some messages between them this is my personal deck. This is uh, mirrored messages. So we have yin yang messages. Let's take a look. What's going on between for masculine towards feminine and feminine towards masculine? And then we're going to take a look at what's going on with the masculine towards the karmic energies. And this is going to be an extension for this. So we're going to get into it briefly with the karmic energies. Um... We'll see what's going on, but when I clarify, we're going to go deeper into that, and then we're going to go into what is going on uh, with the feminine energies at the end of this. So we'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. All right. What is going on with my messages for masculine towards feminine here, spirit? Masculine. Look at my hair. My hair falls out everywhere. I'm sorry, guys, if you see that. <laughs> masculine towards feminine. What messages does the masculine want to say to the feminine? What messages would masculine like to say to the feminine? Oh, he's really in his feminine energy. This masculine is really in his feminine energy. Really in his feminine energy. Look at this. This masculine is sitting in his feminine energy. All right, let's see. Feminine towards the masculine, please. Feminine towards the masculine. Feminine sitting in the masculine. So look at this. You guys have reversed, okay? Feminines are sitting in the masculine energy, okay? Swapped out. This is sometimes the balance that needs to happen, you guys, okay? So the feminine needs to sometimes be in the masculine to take action to heal some of this toxic stuff and move into our path. And the masculine is in the feminine to learn how to feel the feminine on the inside. So this is what's happening. This is what the masculine is saying as he feels divine feminine on the inside. I'm sorry I have pulled away, but I need to heal and move on from this vibration. It's not healthy for me. So this masculine knows that this vibration that they're in currently, wherever they're at in their world, is not healthy. Okay? <clears throat> this masculine is saying from his feminine energy on the inside, there isn't much I can do, but I trust in a higher power. A day doesn't pass that I don't think of you. Okay. And here, Divine Feminine. He's sitting in Divine Feminine. So this is how this is how I created these cards. Is because we have them these energies in us. So the masculine is in feminine energy right now. Okay. I'm letting the past go. However, our path has unfolded. I'm trusting that it's perfect because God created us perfectly together. So this mask is really healing the past, right? It's so beautiful. Let's see divine feminine messages. Ma Feminines are sitting in the masculine energy. I don't know where you begin and I end. Okay, beautiful. 
feminines sitting in masculine energy we both rejected each other on some level tough love is sometimes the only way we learn feminine sitting in the masculine yes the music you hear is me sending you my love <laughs> and then what we do with these with these cards is we then see how the feminine so i know it's a little confusing the masculine sitting in feminine energy this is how the feminine would respond to the masculine at this point. So the masculine is saying, I'm sorry I've pulled away, but I need to heal and move on from this vibration. It's not healthy for me. The feminine is responding from the masculine energy. I'm healing my karma. Please trust that I'm doing the best that I can with what tools I have. Okay. So we'll go over this now. Masculine is saying there isn't much I can do but I trust in a higher power. A day doesn't pass that I don't think of you. Feminine's response, I'm doing everything in my power so we can align perfectly. I am trusting in divine timing. Really beautiful. Masculine, stating to the feminine, I'm into his, what he's feeling, he's in feminine energy. I'm letting the past go. However, our paths have unfolded. I'm trusting that it's perfect because God created us perfectly together. And the feminine is responding from the masculine side. If I could turn back time, I know I would have done things differently. Please forgive my shortcomings. All right. Beautiful. So we'll do the same here now for feminine. So feminine sitting in masculine. And this is where the masculine would respond in the feminine energy. Feminine is saying, I don't know where you begin and I end. And the masculine would respond when you truly saw me, I saw myself, you illuminated my inner most sacred spaces. So this masculine is recognizing the feminine inside of him when she's in this space and the masculine. We both rejected each other on some level. Tough love is sometimes the only way we learn. Oh my, these cards get so dusty. I have no idea. And the masculine is responding. I know now that we both hurt one another because we were hurting ourselves deeply in our subconscious. So see, this masculine is really coming into feminine energy. That's why they're predominantly in the feminine right now. Okay. Feminine sitting in masculine. Yes, the music you hear is me sending you my love. And the masculine is saying, I am feeling you in every song. <laughs> really beautiful. All right, guys, let's take a look. We're going to take a look at the karmic energies now and then we're going to go to the extended okay we're going to take a brief look and then we're going to go into the extended all right so this is sounding like your story we're going to get an overall view of what's going on with the masculine towards the karmic but then in the extended i'm going to go more into the karmic towards masculine energies and towards the divine feminine and then how the divine feminine can actually work through some of the karma that's happening all right so there'll be more healing messages there and direction for divine feminine so let's take a look here we're gonna yeah <clears throat> we're gonna use the basic waiter writer way let's take a look here what is going on what is happening between Divine Masculine and the Karmic Energies, please. Spirit, what is going on with Divine Masculine towards the Karmic? Thank you. We're just going to see right now. We're going to get the Karmic's response towards Divine Masculine in the Extended. And then we're going to see Karmic Energies towards Divine Feminine in the Extended. That's what I'm getting told to do. And then some healing messages. So... Thank you for sitting this long. Let's take a look and we'll get some final messages too. What is divine masculine towards the karmic energy, please, in his life? What is going on with divine masculine towards the karmic energies in his life? Thank you, spirit. We're going to take the bottom. So this is the masculine towards the feminine. Well, he's thinking about the feminine. We'll just say that. <laughs> so... Masculine energy is sitting here really thinking of a relationship, his love life, and uh, divine feminine energies, okay? So this masculine is definitely feeling divine feminine energy here, okay? Really looking at, um, he's made a decision in his heart of how to move forward, okay? He's not contemplating anymore how to for move forward with the karmic, 
Okay, he's made a decision because it's been a very difficult road. We're going to look at that a little bit more. He's really stuck here in his actions, though. He wants to rush through this, but things aren't moving either, okay? He's also ignoring any type of, like, um, passionate type of communication from the karmic and trying to really clearly communicate and move through it. He's also very much blocked in the mind and being quite narcissistic towards karmic in regards to his new passion and endeavors. Okay, so I'm going to use the Kipper deck a little bit here. Let's get a little bit more clarity. What's going on with masculine energy? Divine masculine towards the karmic energies, please, spirit. What's going on with divine masculine towards the karmic energies? Thank you. What's going on with divine masculine towards the karmic energies? Thank you. What's going on with... Oh, too many. What's going on with karmic energies towards divine masculine towards the karmic? Thank you. Divine masculine towards the karmic. Okay, so he's in love with with the Queen of Pentacles is, is my divine feminine card. So very much thinking about his relationship, this union, okay, with divine feminine. So that's what's overtaking his mind. He's not even thinking about the karmic. So. This is masculine towards the karmic. Um, thinking about this love with divine feminine, though, what is going on here? We have his concern about this relationship with the feminine. Okay? He's a little concerned. Why is he concerned? Give me another one. Ah, he's concerned about what the community and what the world's going to think about this with his divine feminine. You know, th this karmic energy may have been very prominent in his world, community, friends, family, that kind of thing. He's concerned about what this is going to look like, how how this feminine is going to fit into his world. Well, that's just all ego, right? This is not a surrendered place. So this masculine's in his head about that towards karmic energies and how it's going to affect the community when he makes this decision. Let's see what's going on in his heart space. Heart space is that he's made a decision. He's made, He's put his foot down. Because it's too dramatic in his heart. It's too hard. This, this, yeah, he's going round and round and round. If this, if this masculine doesn't have children, something about abandonment of children that's happening, okay, that he needs to put, make a decision for the health of his children because he's been working and toiling and laboring. This is a pattern that just keeps repeating over and over and over. Just creates more drama. Could be if he doesn't have children, it's creating it's creating conflict. It's an inner child pattern that keeps happening over and over and over and over again. So the masculine had to put their foot down towards karmic energies to either hold uh, a space for their inner child. Could be both as well. Could be also to hold space for their children um, because they may be taken away from their kids and it's just a repeated pattern. It's just very dramatic and having to put their foot down, okay? They're stuck, though. Why are they stuck here? They want to rush through, but they're very stuck. It's a very contradiction er energy. Hmm. See, this is the ending. They're putting an end to karmic energy. So this is why they're back and forth. They're in despair. This masculine needs to heal a little bit, okay? <coughs> they want to rush forward. They're almost holding back... Um, they don't want to rush through this ending with the karmic energies either, okay? Because, of course, there's always pain when you end something, but that'll be over pretty quick, okay? Because with your twin flame or your person that God made you with, like, you can... That's more painful than any karmic situation. So, um, it's just a despair place. It, we're going to clarify because this is why they can't move forward, okay? This is why they're in between worlds is what I'm getting, they're, they're being very blocked towards the karmic energy because of their new path. They're kind of, look at this, because of their new path, as I say that, okay? They're, they're keeping things um, <laughs> very quiet about their new path. They're not talking to the karmic about their new love. Look at this. Look at this. The lovers. Oh, what is this? What is this? Look at this. Okay. Looking at the lovers here, they're they're with the with their twin, right, or with their person. Looking at this pathway, knowing that this pathway is um, opening up here, but not communicating that to the karmic energies. Let's clarify. Let's clarify what's going on here with uh, 
this concern about uh, divine masculine, um, concern with community and the karmic about bringing in divine feminine. Why are they concerned? Yeah. Look at this. He's unstable. Counterparts, though, right? See? King of Pentacles in reverse. Knowing that he needs to manifest this, but he's very unstable. He's very concerned about what the world is going to think. Why is this concern here for Maskus? He's also very unstable right now. He's waking up about a missed opportunity. So, But he's also very unstable and concerned. What does this have to do with the karmic energies? What does this have to do with the karmic energy? Oh, because it means he has to be honest. <laughs> he has to be honest with everyone in his life now. So it's causing a lot of um, issues. But if, he, if he's not honest, he's going to miss another opportunity. He may even less, miss the last opportunity is what I'm getting for some. Spirit is saying there's some high-level soulmates for you guys that this might be it. You know, this path may close for some. Not all. What's meant for you is meant for you, right? But you don't want to be waiting 10 years or something like you're ridiculous like that, do you, right? So, I mean, this is the thing. Spirit's really trying to get this masculine very honest with the karmic energies about missed opportunities. And he's concerned about how that it's creating a lot of instability. This instability that he's going to keep creating, if he doesn't get honest, it will make him feel more unstable, and more money will be lost and more issues will happen. It'll be this back and forth until they can be honest that they need to manifest the divine feminine. So let's take a look at towards karmic. He's made a decision um, in regards to children where things have been dramatic. Patterns back and forth. Toil and labor. Old patterns just repeating themselves with karmic. Really holding strength here against his heart with karmic energies. Yeah, he's unhappy. The sun in reverse, okay? I know people say the sun is the happiest card, so when it's upside down, it's still the ha one of the happiest. But it's not just about being happy. It's also about illumination. And when it's in reverse, it's like the moon in my readings. <laughs> um, things are being hidden, not coming into illumination fully. Trying to hold strength and tame the ego here about the drama of what's happening with inner child issues or with their own children, okay? That... This is a very depressed, it's depressing, it's okay, it's not the best, it's, it's okay, you know, it's, um, <laughs> four swords, it's resting, oh my gosh, so many, we'll take the one that shot out, resting in his feelings, okay, being turbulent, but learning how to be in this turbulent water too, um, what about the child card, it's just very dramatic, and it's very hard. Yeah, a renewal with inner child work or with their children and family and knowing they need to make a decision out of this drama. Clarify the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, trying to win out of this hardship, wanting to come out good on this end with the karmic, okay? That um, in their heart that they've put their foot down. They've made this decision. They're not contemplating. This is not a masculine that's contemplating. This is a masculine that has made his decision and is like, yeah, I'm not taking a leap of faith here. I'm not moving forward with this karmic in my heart, but I need to clean this up. And that's why they're trying to heal and come into a place of renewal. This masculine's doing a lot of work. He's also contemplating how this feminine's going to fit and that how he's got to be honest with everybody in his life now. Okay. This masculine may have very well hidden you from everybody else and realizing, oh crap, I need to like actually talk about why I'm leaving this karmic because there's an ending here. Clarify this ending with the karmic energies. It's causing a lot of despair. Yeah, see, Nine of Cups in reverse. They're not rushing forward. Yeah, unfinished business here to end heartbreak. Clarify why the Eight of Wands is in reverse. Yeah, being single. They're not moving. They're not moving. Passionately moving or doing anything. They've recently ended something. So they're not moving anywhere passionately, traveling towards it, not communicating because they're enjoying their singlehood right now. They they want to rush forward, okay, because we also have, the, but there's still a lot of despair. So masculine's still healing. It's going to take some time. Yeah, unrequited love. If they rush forward, they may not be ready, right? So they're ending things with the karmic energy right now. They're untrapping themselves right now. Yeah. This masculine is looking. He's being, he's not, he's hiding a lot of stuff with the karmic. 
Okay, he's hiding a lot of stuff about his new path, about his new love. He's ending conflict. Yeah, look at this. He's getting rid of um, ending burdens and frustrations and conflict and um, really keeping things um, under wraps here emotionally. Um, it may be causing a lot. It's causing a lot of upset, honestly. But this is how he's feeling towards karmic right now. He's apologizing. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't give to you. But he's not. He's not communicating either, right? He's not communicating this path with the lovers. What is with? The, he he has every. He's not working on this with the karmic. Okay. He's apologizing to the karmic. He's not working on it. He sees things very clearly. He's slowly moving. So he's like slowly moving. This is a turtle's pace. Okay. He's moving slowly away, <laughs> slowly away. All right. So let's take a look and see what else is going on with masculine towards the karmic. Okay. And then I'll give you a healing message. And then if you're going to be joining me in the extended, we're going to then go deeper. We're going to take a look at what's actually happening between the karmic. Okay, what the karmic is feeling in response to this and towards Divine Feminine. And we're going to go deeper into Divine Feminine and uh, some healing messages there. And we're going to take a look again at some other final healing messages, whatever comes through. But the basic one is that we're going to get deeper into the karmic energies here, okay, in the extended. So let's take a look. If you are part of my membership, it's... Uh, I have like information in there too. It's like a mini school that I'm creating. We do uh, bi-weekly Zoom calls. We have a call tomorrow night where you guys can ask questions. And I even pull cards on the call. So it's $50 a month. But there's like um, a lot of information in there to get started on your path as well. Uh, ceremonies, rituals, creating your own altar, that kind of thing. Uh, there's also workshops that I've channeled that are in there as well. So let's take a look here. What is going on with masculine energy towards karmic energies? Masculine energy towards karmic energies. Masculine energy towards the karma. Thank you. What's going on with mind? Mind towards the karma. Karmic. Yeah, completion, guys. This is coming to an end, okay? He's gained a lot of wisdom, completing, completing the cycle, gaining wisdom in the heart. This is where he's working on that inner child stuff. And also if he has children, supporting the children. Okay. We also have here working really hard here to end this. Okay. And moving towards divine feminine. Okay. We also have here this with the karmic is dissipating. He's not working on it. He sees things clearly. It's a burden. He's not revealing things. He's slowly moving on. So this energy is dissipating for divine masculine. He's definitely following his instincts here. Okay. So let's get a healing message for divine feminine. Then we're going to take a look a little further. We're going to see how masculine and, and the karmic are actually engaging with each other. All right. And then we're going to see how karmic is like, her energy or the karmic energy towards the divine feminine okay and how feminine energy is handling that and then some ad healing advice for the feminine for the feminine and masculine but let's take a look this is what uh some healing messages here for the viewer okay before we go to the extended okay so what healing messages would you like to give the viewer spirit before we go to the extended? Thank you. What is going on? Spirit. Some healing messages here. So yeah, I don't think this, this masculine is attached to this karmic at all very much. But we'll take a look at the extended of what else is going on. Some healing messages here for the viewer, please. Okay, thank you. There's a fork in the road that's happening here, okay? A lot of stuff with community, right? That we were getting here with the masculine as well about community. So something about your tribe, maybe about regenerating for this soulmate connection. So Spirit is saying there's definitely a regeneration that's happening. Things are happening by the book, okay? So be flexible, okay, viewer? Wow, feminine energy, be flexible here, okay? 
Um, we have yin energy flexible. Be very flexible with how things are going right now. There is a new life coming, okay? It's going to take time, okay? You have the leg up, Divine Feminine, okay? So things are just following in order according to the universe. There's a fork in the road. Just take your time, build your community, do what you need to do, regenerate yourself. This is a soulmate connection. So just, you know, hang tight. You have the leg up because you are the Divine Feminine. You are this yin energy, right? You are the yin energy. You're the real feminine, all right? So yeah. Okay, so that's your healing messages. I'll see you guys in the extended. If you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below and so much love. Bye, guys.